Hi guys, this is Dan from Magic Pachinko Restorations with another short video on, oh, it's not on a vintage pachinko machine. It's on an arranged ball. Oh man, you can't know how happy I am to do this video on this arranged ball that works. A little short story, a friend of mine, Rudy, uh, his daughter found two of these in uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Rudy is in Cleveland or the Cleveland area, uh, realized how valuable these are actually. Uh, they're very hard to find. Contacted the owner, told the owner to hold them. He would come pick them up because every, every other person that wanted to buy them wanted her to ship them and she didn't want to do that. And he drove for 10 hours from the Cleveland area to Philadelphia, picked up two of these and uh, ended up sending both to me and they are now both fully restored. Um, unfortunately, uh, the other one has a broken part. We're still working on trying to get that part replaced, remodeled, uh, whatever. But I finally today got this one working. Um, there's not a lot of information out there. And unfortunately, um, although I did put um, the, the word out on Patchy Talk, uh, everybody just kept sending me links of, of well, here's my machine in action. And, and that's not really what I, I needed. I needed to actually talk to somebody. So uh, fortunately, an owner did call me. And I certainly appreciate the, uh, the help that he gave me because he, he told me some things I did not know about the machine. And what I have here, um, actually, I talked to a couple of people on the phone. Um, what I have here is, is one that works now. And the biggest holdback that I, I didn't realize at the time is that there's uh, 16 lights here and nine lights across the top, one here and one here. And all of the, all the bulbs in here and here um, are 12 volt. And I did not know that at the time. The, some of these were burned out. And for some reason, there were no lights up here whatsoever. So every time I turned it on, I would get something different happening and there would be a, uh, some lights on, but they were dim. And I think what it is, is that uh, the circuitry in here needs to have all the bulbs here and here to catch the right amount of resistance. Um, so it's happy and uh, then get the, the bulbs to work. So it is working now. Uh, I did have to modify the, um, the coin slide, well, not the coin slide, the coin slide works just fine. But when you put a coin in, uh, these are coin operated, obviously, uh, you put a coin in here, it goes, goes inside the machine and then drops down the coin chute. And within the coin chute, there's a little arm. And when the coin hits it, the arm goes down and it activates a solenoid, I'll show you that in just a second, that releases the balls. Well, I... I'm a pretty sharp guy, but I couldn't figure out the solenoid, uh, or not the solenoid, but the micro switch the way it was. I just, there was, I don't know if somebody messed with it or replaced it or whatever. And I thought, you know what? This is driving me nuts. So what I did is I simply wired in a push button, a cheat switch, if you will, um, to bypass the uh, solenoid. So now, uh, I, I do put a coin in because what I want is the, um, the jackpot of, or the, the stash of coins to stay full, um, but it's not necessary. All you have to do is push the button and, and the machine will work. But before I actually fire this kit up, let me open it up and show it to you. Internally, these are quite a bit different from a, a pachinko machine. Um, this is the back side of the, of the unit. Uh, okay, so what you have here is the, the, the circuit board that had the lights up at the, the top there. Uh, this is the, uh, hey, I'm on. And this one will light up when it activates this micro switch here. Um, I don't know if you can tell or not, but there are coins in there. And when they run out, that um, switch goes in and it will turn this light on and it will also um, kick this solenoid over like that into the coin slot and the coins simply won't go into the machine. 
as a stop. So there, there was a solenoid, or the, I keep calling it a solenoid, the, the micro switch here that, that went into this little slot. And then, like I said, I just couldn't get it to work. So I just took the two wires that went to that uh, micro switch and routed them up to a push button. So this is the board that, that has the lights for the one through 16. Uh, this one is a, a very cool machine. Uh, it's with a buffalo, the horns open and close. And this is the stepper motor that opens and closes the horns. I guess from talking to um, a couple of people, that's very rare to find one like that and even rarer to find one that actually works. Um, these are um, micro switches that are attached to um, different numbered slots that will activate the coin mechanism. And then as the balls drop in, and I think you can probably see the shininess of the balls in there, uh, these are numbered according to this. And right now they're in there, um, and that's why the lights are on in the front. When you either put a coin in, or in my case, push the button, it will activate this solenoid. It'll pull down and drop all the balls out of here and shoot them out the front. So this is a closed system. Um, there are 16 balls in it and they stay in the machine. They never come out. So here's a, another little bit of a shot over here. Um, this is the mechanism that, that spits the coins out. And then uh, as the coins come down and fill this tube, any if, you, if a player's not winning a whole bunch, then the excess just jump right over and go into the coin box over here which is lockable. This has a, um, a contact switch here to uh, turn the machine off and on when the cabinet's open. These are a couple of uh, instructional um, things. I, I look, looked them up on, um, uh, what do you call it, Google Translate. And I'm not sure if, if this was from the other owner or not. This is just numbers. So it's hard to tell if it was Japanese or not because numbers are numbers. So let me get this thing closed back up and I'll show you the machine in action. I did do a, a, a full restoration with one exception and that is I, I did not replace the play field. Um, but I did take everything else off, took all the nails out, polished them, tumbled them, did a lot of repainting on the front to get it looking good, got it all cleaned up. So uh, if you were just a normal player in Japan, you would put a coin in, and as you put a coin in, the machine resets itself, and now there are 16 balls down in this area here that you're going to launch. <clears throat> um, first one doesn't do anything, you got to kick it onto the launch ramp. So now when you launch a ball, it drops, it dropped into the 14 slot. So the 14 uh, light comes on. That time it went in the nine slot. Now we got this one. So the object of this is to get lights lit this way or this way or the four corners, the inside corners. If you get in the four inside corners, that's the jackpot. So there are pay pockets. This is 11, seven, six, and then the, the 10 uh, pay pocket is up here. Now the way that this works is if you get a ball in the 10 pocket, it then activates the stepper motor to open up the horns on the bull. We'll see if I get lucky. And Okay, it doesn't look like I got lucky. Um, if you launch them all the way over, these are replay slots, the ball will come back down. Now, I don't have what I consider to be a winning pattern, but I don't know enough about these things to really understand them. So again, as a player, I would put another coin in, and I don't know why, but I, I won two coins. Um, not sure of the, the payout system, but let's try this again. Now, that was the seven uh, slot, and if you get a coin in the seven slot, it automatically will kick out 
uh, one coin. There was already two there. So that's just an instant pay if, if you get it into the seven slot. There. So I got it in the 10, and if you watch the horns, the horns are gonna open. And the object is to get another one up in there before they close. Too late. But if you get one in the horns, it'll sit in the horn, and then as the horn closes, it'll it'll kick it down into the seven hole and give you a win. Okay, so let's see. Now you can also, if you're done, you can also just hit this. And evidently you didn't get any kind of a jackpot win. So again, I'm not 100% sure of the payouts. Again, it, it, it kicked two coins out. Don't know why. <laughs> if anybody can tell me that, please do. Uh, let's try this again. stop right now I've got four across the bottom and it's it might be hard to tell but the the number two is lit and again the the one two one one two two one one two two and then three in the middle not really sure I just know that when when one of these lights lights it it means you did get it something that's going to pay out Okay, so we're done now. I believe because that light is lit up there, you can now press the red button. And I, I think I got five coins that time. So that's an arranged ball. If you ever, ever come across one, uh, let me know. I'd like to have it. No, I'm only kidding. Uh, grab it. I mean, these things are very, very hard to find, uh, especially one in working order. And uh, this one, this one's in really nice condition, and, and now it, it works. Hope you enjoy the video.